here. What is little chat to little principle? Large chat to little principle. Sometimes I represent with the funny way le chatelier principle. It will be applicable for the reversible reactions. So, according to the la chatelier principle, when a reversible reaction, when a reversible reaction will reach an equilibrium if we change any factors like temperature it means heat pressure concentration of the reactant the equilibrium will be shifted in such a way that the effect of the factors will be neutralized i repeat again la chatelier principle when a reversible reaction reaches equilibrium if we change any factors like temperature it means heat pressure concentration of the reactant the equilibrium will be shifted in such a way that the effect of the factors will be neutralized so let's see with example nitrogen and hydrogen nitrogen and hydrogen when we'll mix together it will be ammonia so to get ammonia we should mix nitrogen and hydrogen gases it will be ammonia when this reaction will occur in a closed container this ammonia will again convert into reactant it means ammonia will turn into nitrogen and hydrogen this is reversible reaction it means reactant turns into product and product turns into reactant reactant turns into product and product turns into reactant that's why this is reversible reaction and now when they will gain equilibrium it means balance state like the balance machine like the balance machine and at this moment if you change any factors like heat or temperature pressure and concentration of the reactant it means nitrogen and hydrogen then the equilibrium will be changed will be shifted whether it will go to the product side or it will come back to the reactant side it means the equilibrium will be changed will be shifted why to make the neutralization of the factors the effect of the factors it wants to make the neutralize effect of the factors factors so my dear we can say when a reversible reaction reaches equilibrium if we change any factors like temperature pressure concentration they can control the reaction they can increase the rate of reaction or decrease the rate of reaction that's why they are known as factors like a teacher who is can control you who is can influence you to make the better result similarly heat temperature or pressure and concentration can influence the rate of reaction and that's why they are known as factors so if we change any factors like temperature pressure or concentration of the reactant the equilibrium will be shifted in such a way that the effect of the factors will be neutralized i believe you have understood thank you very much